Stop it! Oh! Oh! <laughs> I was... I thought I could be all strategic and whatnot and try and stop it with my body. Well, I kind of stopped it, and I killed the poor guy. <laughs>and today we're gonna to be blowing up things strategically because we're playing a new game called C4 and I'm so excited for this one. Uh, it has explosions and it is a puzzle based game. It really is the perfect game for me. So what this game is, basically we are a destruction guy. You can see him over here. We need to do different puzzles and move blocks as cheaply as possible. And I realize now that I'm explaining it, it's very confusing to explain. So we're just gonna start it off and get right into it. So I'll go back to level one here. Now this is a pre-alpha version, as you can see, this is going to be coming out sometime within the next couple of months, so all the links will be in the description if you are curious about it. Now for whatever reason, it doesn't take me back to all the way back to the start, this was kind of like level 2 or 3, but uh, these are very basic levels, so I'll quickly explain, or it will kind of explain how this game works. So you place these beacons down, and once you have a beacon down, if you look at the radius around it, you can collect in that radius. So what it wants us to do right here, you can see we have a budget of $10, and we need to collect five data points. The squares are those data points. So this one is just kind of explaining how the beacon works. Very, very basic, but it's going to get progressively more and more difficult. So we completed that one. Let's move on to the next one. And yes, now it's going to get a little bit more interesting. So we got a budget of $70 this time. We need to place the beacon once again, and we need to collect three data points, which are obviously these right here. Now, can we actually... No, I can't seem to put the beacon up there to collect them, and I don't think if we put it on the ground, I can easily collect them. He does have a rocket pack, by the way, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I can't see... I need to knock them on the ground to collect them, so... We have C4, uh, surprise, surprise, in a game called C4, you have C4. So what we want to do is strategically blast these to stay in that radius. So I'm going to put one C4 there, back up, and explode them out. And we use those walls to our advantage. So now we can quickly collect those and not waste any money at all blowing blocks back into the radius. And that's really the gist of this game. It's very fun, and I think it's going to get very, very complex. It actually reminds me a lot of Besiege, mostly because of the art style. Very simplistic and very, very pretty. All right, so for this one, we have a budget of 70. We need four data points. Again, we need to knock them off. That's the whole point of this game. So where do we, the biggest strategy is where do we want to put this um, so we can have an easy time blowing these things off? If I put it kind of like this, I can knock both towers over to the left, or I could try... Well, I think I'm going to need to use 2C4 for both. Or sorry, I can't use 1C4 to knock over both towers. So I was hoping to be able to do that. But I think the best strategy will be to do this as close to this pole as possible. So we'll just place it there. I keep forgetting I have to hold. And then we want to obviously knock down this tower to the left. And this one can either go to the left or the right. So we'll just try and knock it like that. So let's see what happens here with 2. There we go, and come on, fall down. Can I actually collect that? Let's see if we can collect that. I think I need to, yeah, you need to totally knock them off, unfortunately. So, it wasn't the perfect fall, but, uh, oh man, I'm gonna have to spend two. That kind of sucks to uh, get these things off, but you know what? That's just part of the game. So, we still, we still have a budget of 30 bucks, so still doing really well, and we should be, yes, done. All right, so we got uh, 17 MD for that one. Now, I believe with the MD, which is the money in this game, you can buy upgrades for your little dude. Just visual upgrades, I think. I don't know if they're necessarily better. Why is it so blurry? Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Am, am I blind or is the game? Okay, you know what? I, I don't know if this is a glitch or not. Plus, E to open the crate. I'm thinking this is a glitch, guys. Unlocked warp zone. Maybe not. This might be a weird place here. So, uh, it's not going away. Use the warp zone to place it and then select it by clicking on it. Okay. So, I think this is just a tool unlock place. I don't know why it's so blurry. I'm assuming that's a glitch or I'm just confused. Uh, this thing, though, attaches objects together. Attached objects will detach if leaving the radius... Use left mouse click to attach objects. So, I mean, we can't really see here, <laughs> but if we have that there, and then do we have to put another one down? No, I don't think so. 
All right, let's just go to the next level because I would prefer to see what I'm doing and then maybe we can use it here. Okay, so we unlocked it, but we don't need it just yet. Uh, that was a little confusing, that one, but that's okay. All right, so we got some more blocks here. Again, it's all about the strategy of the explosion. I'm thinking actually, well, first of all, let's put down the beacon and we'll just put it probably right in the middle. I don't think we're gonna be able to blow this too far away. But what I'm thinking, maybe even put the C4 on the rock, but I don't think the radius is that big on it. Can I put C4? Ooh, I can put C4. I can utilize the beacon for strategy. So what I should have done, can I actually reset this? Yes, retry the level. I have a better plan here, and it's gonna work much better. So we have the beacon. If we put the beacon back a little bit, and we'll hold the place. We don't want to put it too far back, but I want to try and use one C4 to knock this whole thing off. And we put a C4 there. That's going to blow them off. Hopefully all four of them. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess 25% is better than nothing. That's a little frustrating, though. I only have a budget of $5 left, so I, I need to do this in one. So we need to try again here. Let's go back to the drawing board. All right, I think I got it now. We need to use that new tool and also utilize the beacon to knock over all four. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the beacon as close to the blocks as possible because I'm going to put C4 on that and I want the blast radius to be effective. Uh, now we're going to use the warp zone. So this thing kind of works like a welder from what I understand. So we click on it and then we can highlight blocks and then those blocks will stick together. So, if one moves, they all move. Obviously, it's going to be a heavier block, though. I think that's how it works anyways. So, let's put some C4. I guess we'll have to put it on the pole here. And hopefully, if I did it right, we should be able to knock them over. All right. So, that's close. It's going to let me collect them. So, that's good. And that's how that thing works. So, that's pretty cool. All right, earn some more money, 17 buckaronis, and okay, now we're getting into the fun stuff. Needed to win at two. Where even, okay, there's two up there. Now, I gotta look at this and figure this out. All right, so obviously the blocks are gonna fall this way, so we gotta put the beacon down. I can't even use my jetpack until the beacon's down, so I thought I could just simply go up there and uh, put the beacon up there. Not the case, so we want this kind of here like that. And from here, I have no idea what to do. We got $15 budget, so I think, again, just by the price, we're going to want to get another warp zone. We'll put that down here. And it's too far away, so we are going to have to delete that now. So this is just, the warp zone is just the radius in which you can utilize this tool. So let's right-click that. We get our $5 back, and let's go fly up there. All right, let's not waste my jet fuel. There we go. All right, so... I definitely know how to do this now, right there like that, and then we're just going to put a small bomb right here. We probably don't even need this, you know what? I, th I think I'm going to try it without it just to save some money, so let's see if we really needed that thing. Didn't think so. Okay, exploded a lot more than I thought it would. Maybe if we try it on the side like that, and... Ooh, yeah, there we go. Just a little angle. Stay in there. Yeah, we did it. Perfect. Okay, I didn't need to use the, uh... I'm gonna call the welder, because that's basically what it is, to get these two blocks down. So we did save some more money where we can buy some more stuff. So it should be, yeah, 23. So it looks like the baseline, which is weird, is 17 MD per level. And then if you save some money, you earn more, basically. Oh, God, here we go again. All right, I really... I don't know why these are blurry, guys, so... At least we're unlocking new things, so let's see what this one does. Uh, unlocked medium bomb, so obviously a little bit more of a blast radius. Alright, average explosion in a medium radius. Alright, let's just compare here. So we're gonna put that one up there, and... Boom goes the dynamite. Uh, we'll undo that action, get rid of that one. Now let's see the difference between medium, just to kind of see the radius of them. All right, a heck of a lot more. Let's move on because it's blurry as crap in there. Okay, budget of 50. We need six data blocks. How many are here? One, two, three, four, five, all of them. So we need to knock all of them down. We got a budget of 50 buckaronis. So we definitely, judging by the blast radius wall over here, we're going to want to put the beacon right in this zone because they're all going to blast this way. Now, do we want to weld anything? How much is the big bomb? It's only 15 bucks. Now, if we put that... Ooh, I don't know, because that might blast it all sideways. You know what? I'm going to try that. Let's just, first of all, test that out. 
Okay. That really exploded it. So if we use the warp zone, we'll put that right there like so. We should, well, the black, yes, it's within zone. So if we connect these together, I don't think it will be so drastic. All right, and with that done, we'll put another medium bomb up here, and we have $30 left, so that is going to allow me to put a small bomb. Can I put it on the block? Oh, I can, so that should shoot it right out into that thing, which is perfect, and we'll do the same thing over here. So, if all goes well, this should work right here. Let's find out. I doubt it. Oh, 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 close! Very close, actually close enough to the point where I can just spend my extra budget here to detonate this bad boy back in there and call it a day. All right, that worked really well. Unfortunately, I had to spend an extra $10. I probably could have reset it and didn't have to spend that $10, but you know what? It's all about beating these levels, and that's exactly what I did. What the heck is that thing? We got a moving platform this time. Can I get on the platform? Ah, uh, yes, look at that. So we have to, well, this shouldn't be too bad because we can attach things to that platform. How much money do we got? We got 30 bucks. All right, so we're gonna Obviously put the beacon here, since one of the blocks can't move. And what I'm gonna do, put a small bomb on that block. Hopefully that doesn't shoot it too far away. And then we'll just put a small bomb right there like that. Wait for it to come back, and hopefully this works. Because then that means we get to save 10 bucks, but I think we might need to use a stronger bomb from one of them. Possibly the one on the cart. Nope, that was it. All right, not too bad. And, wow, the unlocks are quite quick in this game. So we got another one. This time we're not in the same area, so... Uh, that usually lets you test it, so this one probably you're not able to test. We got a grapple. All right, the grapple pulls the hook towards the base. Okay, so you can probably, you know, kind of crane down blocks, which is pretty cool. All right, nighttime, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I gotta... How is that? Where's that light coming from? <laughs> All right, I'm assuming they're gonna add like a little light on the top of his hat or something, but for right now, he 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 just protrudes light out of his eyes. Oh, what is, what, what 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 do you do? Um, okay, it's not letting me do anything. Whoa, that's trippy. So, I can look at it. Why would I? I'm I'm very confused. All right, let's use this thing again. It. Oh, okay, so you can raise this up, and that's going to allow you to get a lot more distance on a blast, obviously, because you're higher in the air. So I'm thinking now, with a budget of $20, we don't really have too many options. So what I'm going to do now, let's just put this kind of, basically what I'm going to do, I think it's two small bombs, and then try to blow them in this radius. It might be possible with this little lift now, so... Because we don't really have too many options. I can do a medium bomb, that's $15, so that's all my money right there. Grapple alone is $20, you can only attach to one block. So, I, it's weird that I, we just earned the grapple, and I don't think that's how to do it here. But I'm thinking it's the small bomb, so... There's really no connection points to go behind this bomb, so what if we put it... Right on this back wall here, out of range? What are you talking about? Okay, I just gotta get closer. Uh, so yeah, if we just try and put it on this back block... And hopefully, it's strong enough to blow those two blocks out. And then over here, we'll just do the same thing, more or less. So, we'll put it directly on the back of the block over here. And... Let her go. Oh, oh, oh! Wow! Did that actually work? Oh, that's so close! Okay, so... Obviously, we can move this beacon in a bit if we need to. Let's retry that, though. Maybe we can get some random luck here. That time, they both didn't make it! What the heck?! And boom goes the dynamite. Oh, 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 I think. Oh my god, look at how close that is. Can I collect this one? Yes, I can, and that one is definitely in. So I'm not sure if that was the way to do this map, but it was so close. I, I really wish they gave you a couple more bucks budget, but maybe there's something I'm missing as well. I have no idea. All right, let's try one more here. Oh god, here we go with the blurriness again. So... Yeah, this is definitely a glitch, by the way, guys. Unfortunately, I don't know why this screen's blurry for me. Better than the whole game being blurry, I guess. We got a hot air balloon. Now, let's see what this bad boy does. Lifts attached object up. All right, cool. All right, so we got $100 this time, and we got to get three data blocks. We got one over here, one over there, and one over there. So... Ooh, man. I, I kind of want to see how these hot air balloons work, so... I'm thinking we gotta go over here and knock these ones down. So we'll try that there. 
And then hot air balloon. How much is this? Ten dollars. Let's just see. Oh, it doesn't. Out of range. Oh, okay, never mind. It's just out of range. So if we do that, what was the item? Okay, H to lift in the air. So it literally just lifts it in the air. And then it holds it there, so that's pretty cool. So you can lift it as high as you want. Then actually, how high can we go? Because you could just have a small blast radius on the back of it, and then knock it way over. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. So let's undo this action. Actually, now that I think about it, these blocks over here might have an easier chance of getting in here, because this is kind of angled at a weird way, so even if I put a, a block behind it, it wouldn't really work. So we're gonna sell that. Uh, actually, no, we do need it because we're gonna need to go over that wall, too. Okay, so this... Th th this is a big one, guys. I, I, don't, I, I don't even know where to go. Alright, let's start off with the easiest one. This one, we can probably... Oh, I can't. I'm not in range. Now I am. We can probably just blow it off. And... Too far. Great! Stop it! Oh! Oh! <laughs> I was- I thought I could be all strategic and whatnot and try and stop it with my body. Well, I kind of stopped it, and I killed the poor guy. <laughs> Alright, let's try this out though. So what we're gonna do, I'm thinking over here is probably the better answer. So, I don't know how much money this is gonna cost, but with this one, the hot air balloon definitely will help out, because we got this wall in front of it. And then we're just going to attach a small explosive well, we gotta get up here first. Alright, so we can get up there, and we'll attach a small explosive to the top of that. So we'll do one at a time here. H to lift the block, so we want to make it sure it goes at a good spot to kind of lift it. Definitely want to go at a little bit of the higher area of the block. Something like that should be good. Now, boom goes the dynamite. Oh. Didn't expect that. Now, how, how do I go down with it? Can I, uh, can I delete you? Yeah! Okay! So you can delete it. Does that give our money back? No, it does not give your money back, but it only cost me $20 to do that, so that was really cool. I actually really like this thing. Uh, looks like we can kind of do the same thing. Well, you know what? We can attach C4 to the block as well, so what if we just do that? We'll attach C4 over here, and again, another hot air balloon, and H to lift up that one. We don't need to go that high as long as we can get over this. There we go, like so, and... Blast off! And, oh, dude, that's so cool! So, oh, we might need to do another one. We still got $60, though. This is this is a crazy profit here. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna have to do another one here. Uh, am I out of range to attach to that? Yes, but I can climb and attach! Okay, hopefully it goes the right way here. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. And drop it! Drop it! Yes! There! Okay, so all we need to do is, within $50, get this one done, too. Alright, so we got little stairs here, so we can go up to the top. I'm- I'm just gonna try- it needs to go a little bit to the right, so if we put it right all behind it, kinda to the left of it... Is that it? No! Well, thankfully, we can undo each turn, so... Let's just try again. Maybe two is good luck. You know what? We- we, we have enough to do the, the medium, and I think that might be... The option. Actually, it's only $15, so it's gonna save us money. I could do the whole balloon strategy again, but I think the medium should be more than enough to get it over there. Perfect! Alright, that feels good, guys. A budget of $35 left. I'm assuming we did that better than what's to be expected. And bam, now we got some money to spend. Look at that happy guy. Uh, how much do we- oh, we are only earned 7 MD for that. Interesting. I, I don't know how the MD works then. We had a bunch over budget. And we didn't get our MD, so we're just gonna continue here. Do we get another unlock? No, we don't! And we're gonna figure out what that is in the next episode. But I wanna go back to the main menu real quick, because there is a store. And we did earn some money here, so let's customize our little guy. So yes, that's what you can buy with the MD. So, yes, let's do the black hat, because I always wear a black hat. Can we put it on him? There we go! Now, oh, it looks like, unfortunately, all there is for right now, again, early alpha, is some hats. But at least we got a hat for the little guy. And that's gonna wrap it up for fir the first episode of C4, guys. Now, let me know if you guys are liking this one. I really like puzzle games like this, where it's very quick, very simplistic, and very fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know by hitting that like button. Let me know by putting a comment down below. And as always, guys, thanks for watching and liking. I'll see you in the next one.